If you are building out a DIY lithium iron phosphate battery, then this video is for you. My name is Nigel, this is Off Grid Van Life, and what we're gonna be doing here is to put together this battery pack and get it ready to top balance in a really simple way. So if you go onto YouTube and you start typing in how to build a lithium ion phosphate battery, there is a plethora of videos and information on there. Our channel is no different. We have a bunch of stuff on here. Hopefully there's some stuff on our channel here that would be helpful and useful to you. Uh, but what I'm gonna be looking at in this video is in my opinion, one of the simplest ways of just assembling a 12 volt lithium ion phosphate battery. So uh, it's very elementary in the sense that uh, there's no, I mean, we've got very detailed videos here on the channel in terms of how to make a DIY battery and the measurements and how we actually construct all of our custom batteries. Uh, but this is a very basic elementary way. So if you just wanna put something together, have it up and running uh, in a very reliable, good way, then this video will be helpful for you. But essentially what I'm gonna be using is a couple of pieces of six millimeter ply that I've just painted uh, with black spray paint, very simple elementary there, easy to cut. Um, I've cut a bit of a, 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 a thing there just to uh, have a bit of height and protection for the BMS, but that's not essential. You could get away with just very simple square um, plywood if you want to. And I've cut it uh, with enough height and size to be able to uh, cover the um, terminals if I want to but you don't have to. This is a basic way of getting these cells up. So the one thing is, and, and this is a very, um, uh, not controversial, but very debated topic is how do you, how should you actually compress your cells uh, to get optimum performance and various battery manufacturers like Eve, for example, which these are Eve cells, um, they will say uh, that you should, uh, to, uh, you should compress them to a certain amount and you'll get X number of extra cycles out of them, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and so you could get into the sort of real science of how to do that and how to optimize your, your compression and whether to use springs and all those sort of things. Um, but for the purpose of this video, we are going in with the assumption and the known knowledge that compressing them in some way does extend the lifespan because no matter how good quality the cells are uh, that you use, uh, they are going to compress and change slightly. So uh, with that in mind, uh, we're gonna compress them. We're not gonna go into the science of how to compress them and, and what the optimum uh, pressure is and, and springs and all that sort of stuff. We're gonna use a basic compression of just these ply boards and some fiber tape. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna compress them before we top balance them. So you'll see here that I've positioned the cells in series, which is how the cells are gonna be positioned for the final battery. And we're gonna assemble the battery as if it's the final setup here. So there's no, not really any point in compressing your cells if you're going to disassemble them once they're top balanced, because then you lose all of the benefit of having compressed them in the first place. So when you get your cells from China, they're gonna come at their nominal voltage, which is probably 3.29 or around about 3.3 volts, uh, which is roughly, I believe, about 15% state of charge uh, or thereabouts. And so you're gonna to have to charge them up. You're gonna to have to top balance them once you get them. If your cells are good quality, then in theory, you don't need to top balance them. Um, it's good practice to top balance them though. You'll get, generally speaking, uh, they will perform a bit better if you do, um, and I mean, obviously, if, if you don't top balance them, then your BMS can balance them out, uh, and if they are good cells, then that shouldn't be a problem, but I always like to top balance the cells anyway, and that's our, the way that we do it. So, let's get to actually assembling this. Okay, okay. let's get these guys off here. I always get flack for wearing rings, so in the interest of not wanting to lose my fingers or my eyes, Let's uh, get some PPE on. All right, so the first thing that I do here, as I mentioned, they are positioned in series as if I'm going to build the final construct of the battery. I use a couple of these quick sort of Irwin clamps. And what's very important to note here is I'm not compressing these with great strength and force here. Literally all these clamps are there to do is to essentially hold everything together so that I can easily tape them on my own. So I often work in my workshop on my own. And so I just find it convenient just to put one or two 
clicks on the thing and it's just to hold everything together it's not i'm really not compressing them and putting loads of pressure it's it basically just to hold everything together so that uh, the battery doesn't fall apart and then it's very simple um, i just line everything up put my tape on because the clamps are kind of uh, pulling everything together anyway um, i don't have to do much and in any case you're not wanting to put loads of pressure if you're really compressing the cells and putting a lot of force on them then you're not doing it right because um, they are going to expand slightly when you top balance them anyway so i just put a couple of turns of the fiber tape um, if you have scissors i would recommend cutting it with scissors because uh, using a stanley knife isn't ideal because uh, inevitably it lands up just folding on itself and then you have a bit of a mess then i do stuff one round just off the bottom probably half a centimeter or so just so it doesn't get caught on um, things if i drop the pack into a, a case or something like that And again, a couple of rounds of the fiber tape. <clears throat> and then at that point, you can pull these guys off and just get them out the way because they are, we're finished with them. Obviously, it goes without saying, but um, when you are putting those clamps on, you need to be extra careful not to touch the terminals and uh, shorting off. but I then just put a couple of turns around the middle of the pack like this and then that's us Good to go on that front. All right. Now, what I tend to do is I actually like to put the BMS on the side of the battery as well. Just, um, just kind of my workflow of how I do things. So um, take this thing here. This is the balance. I, have, I use these balance extenders just so that I can position the BMS on the side of the, of the battery pack. And essentially what that means is that Get these the right way i just put all of this stuff in here like that and then i use this tape just this black um it's basically gaffer tape type stuff um and i just pull all of these along the side of the bms like that uh, and the most critical and important bit of this is to make sure that the balance leads here this pl is plugged in nicely. I'm not putting loads of pressure in that, but just making sure that it clears these bottom bits here. And I'll show you why in a second. But yeah, basically hold those on there with that tape, just so they're out of the way. And then take the BMS and I rest it on the bottom and take a bit of fiber tape i'd usually just stick the one side on center the bms like that Ooh. wrap around you can just get rid of the bluetooth module there go out to here and tape the bms on and that's literally all that the bms needs to be held on by really doesn't need any more than that and your cables are nicely out of the way there and then when it comes to it you can then connect up your balance leads like that and then put your uh, temperature probe where it needs to go and then that's basically how I uh, assemble the battery and so what I can then do is this uh, black lead here is obviously going off to my charger and my drawer etc 
This is my uh, negative that goes onto the battery. I then put that round to the terminal there. You can bend these down if you want to, if you're putting it into a case or whatever the case is. Um, so yeah, pretty, pretty easy and flexible. In terms of top balancing now, and this is the main purpose of the video, uh, this is how I do things. So I go um, and I have these cables, that are, these bits of wire here that I've prepared beforehand and use extensively. And I just position these out onto the terminals, obviously taking extra care to ensure that I don't short anything. So I'm just going negative to negative all the way around. And then obviously just put a nut onto each of them, which I'll tighten down. And when it comes to actually top balancing, you don't really don't need to tighten them very tight. Um, literally all you need to do is nip them down just a bit and that's enough. You don't need them super tight. Like you're not certainly not tightening them to sort of nine Newton meters or whatever the, the terminals are capable of. Um, again, just being extra sure not to, um, hang on. this cable is actually for something else. I just realized. <laughs> Being very sure not to short anything. Just turn this around. And there. Last one. Okay. And then I do use a torque wrench. Um, but like I said, I'm not talking these down. I'm literally just nipping them so that they make good contact and that's basically it. It's really not talking them to the point where um, you would if you were actually assembling the battery finally. Sometimes these are a bit, can be a bit tricky to get to. And that's that. So now those are ready to top balance. So um, generally I use this charger uh, for top balancing. It's uh, a weight charger, which I just got off um, AliExpress. They're fairly inexpensive if I remember correctly. I think they're like 30 or $40, something like that. Probably the cheapest way of top balancing these cells. The only thing is that it's a 3.65 volt charger which means that literally you'll only use it ever to top balance and then probably won't ever use it again. Um, so from that point of view, um, it's like a one-time deal, one-time use type thing. Uh, but uh, it's worth it, they're good, um, reliable, I use it all the time. So I would then just connect this up, put it on charge, leave it for a few days, come back once it's fully charged and then my battery is good to go. At that point, I can then connect up all the cables and, and the top balances uh, sorry, the, the balance leads and uh, we are good to go on that. So yeah, so that is basically the very simple elementary way of how you can assemble a battery for top balancing. 
uh, and then once it's top balanced you then have a very simple battery to be able to drop into a case or into your locker in your camper van or whatever the case is. Hopefully this has been helpful. If you're interested in any of the products on our store like these EVE cells, so these are 304 amp hour EVE cells, we stock them in the UK. If you're interested in uh, anything from our store you can use the discount code DIY10 that'll get you 10% off for the first 10 orders so whoever gets there first uh, can make use of that. Hopefully that's been helpful for you and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Thank you.